Governor Ducey, Governor Brewer, Governor Symington, Governor Napolitano, Representative Colby, Senator Schlatz, Senator Heller, Senator Flake, Cindy McCain, and all members of the McCain family and friends. John McCain believed in America. He believed in its people, its values, and its institutions. He said he came to this realization during his time as a POW in Vietnam. I fell in love with my country, he said, when I was a prisoner in someone else's. As a result, he dedicated his life to serve his country. When he saw challenges to its institutions or values, he fought to protect them. Thus, his efforts to rein in excess campaign expenditures and congressional earmarks, which he viewed as corrupting our values and institutions, and his insistence that battlefield detainees be treated in accordance with American law and values. In international affairs, his beliefs led Senator McCain to promote American principles of freedom and democracy for others. And in our military campaigns, to support our missions and our troops. John had a keen eye for American interests and could spot dangerous adversaries a mile away. He was among the first to advocate the surge in Iraq to regain the initiative in the war there. I've been with Senator McCain all around the world and I will tell you that he had better instincts about how and when and where to assert American power than any other leader that I've known. He had been to more countries, knew more foreign leaders, and had a better grasp of history than any other American official, including our secretaries of state. One illustration that we're all familiar with uh, was when others were looking into Vladimir Putin's eyes with an eye of understanding him and reaching accommodation with him. John, of course, said, I looked into his eyes and I saw a KGB. While I believe John's greatest contribution was to American national security, we must comment a bit on Arizona interests as well. In a word, he loved his adopted state. He loved its beauty. He was committed to protecting our environment and our water and our forests. He worked throughout his career with our Native American citizens and with Arizona's veterans. He was a big champion of our many military installations. Some have disagreed with some of Senator McCain's votes on policy positions, but that should not diminish our gratitude for his service. And let's return to where I began, John's love for America and Arizona. He represented our values all over the world as Senator from Arizona, and America is stronger for his fierce defense of our values. We can be proud he was our senator. I consider it a great privilege to have served with John, and I will miss him as a friend and as a strong force for America in the world.